Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a weekly reading. This is for the first week of April. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. First week of April. What do we got for Gemini? Gemini. This is for Gemini. What do we got for Gemini? First week of April. Walking away, making a decision to leave something behind. I mean, ooh, well, the moon card could be Pisces, could be a Pisces, could be um, illusion. Maybe you're you're leaving something behind. Maybe you're starting to see something clearly. Maybe something is being brought to light. You see the moon. We do have a new moon coming. So right around the new moon, and when is the new moon? The fifth? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Right around the new moon, somebody could be walking away from you, or you could be walking away from them. Ooh. Yeah, a burden is being released. The overall outcome is something is being released. A huge burden is about to be released, Gemini. That's the overall outcome at the end of this week, okay? Or during this time. At some point, something is being released. You are, you are going to, you know, some balance is going to start to come back in your life. Um, it's like something is changing. It's a huge, huge relief. You're going to feel a lot of relief at the end of the week. Um, yeah, <laughs> something big. We're going to go around again. We're going to get extra cards, but <sighs> looks like you guys are, have made a judgment call or are about to make a judgment call. This is an awakening. This is a wake up call. Some sort of truth. Maybe you have received some knowledge. You have received some truth. Maybe even a, an epiphany. Something has come to light or it's about to come to light right away. Okay. Something is being revealed. There's no doubt. There's a, something is happening, <laughs> obviously. Um, some sort of truth, some sort of secret is about to be revealed. There's, there's no doubt. And it may cause you to walk away or somebody to walk away from you. Now, I have to keep tell you, this could be somebody in your family. It could be a family member. It could be a partner. It could be anybody. It could be a child. It could be a parent. It could be a partner. Okay, it could be a partner. But... Anyhow, this is making a judgment call. Maybe you've already made the call or you are in the process of making the call right now. You may receive a call. You may receive something that says somebody has left or they're leaving um, or, or it causes you to leave. Okay. Um, yeah, somebody's given up. It's like they're not going to put in any more effort. They don't have any more effort. They don't have any more strength. They're not going to fight for something anymore. They're giving up. They're not going to fight. You've got to see what's marrying each other. Not Somebody is giving up the fight. I'm not going to do this anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm leaving. Seven of Wands reversed. I mean, this is presently like giving up the fight. Giving up. I have to do what's best for me. I have to protect myself from this drama. So I feel like we have some sort of uh, an exit, okay? We have an exit. Somebody is exiting a scene, a scenario, because... Something has been brought to light. Some sort of truth has been revealed. And I feel as though you are, this is a message coming in. This is integrity. This is integrity. Somebody's done the right thing. You've done the right thing. Okay, so if don't doubt yourself, don't doubt yourself. If you're starting to doubt yourself, don't doubt yourself. Now, the page of pentacles is, you know, starting over, starting at the very beginning so, you know, having to do things over, or st starting a new journey, starting broadening your horizons, just really, 
you know, having to start at the very beginning and learn new things and do things differently and really remain focused. So, we're going to have to get some more cards for this. Manifestation. You may have be manifesting a new opportunity. A big one. Something is coming. Because that's, that's big. That's a big pentacle right there. So that's a big. And Ace of Pentacles is a manifestation. So it's like this is a new opportunity. So you do have a new opportunity coming. But it's right at the beginning stages. Okay. So keep that in mind. Um, down here in your approach. this You may be emotional. <laughs> you may be emotional. This may be in a very intense time. You may be feeling sensitive. There may be some tears shed. I feel as though somebody is walking away and it may be emotional. You know, maybe you need to retreat for a minute. Maybe you need to withdraw to, to get your emotions under check, okay? Because when somebody walks away, whether it's you or the other person, it isn't easy. So it could be an emotional time. You could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Scorpio here. We have Pisces here. We have Virgo over, over here. Anyway, um... You know, this is a need to retreat, to go within, and I can see that. You may need to go within. You may need to refocus. You may need to come up with plan B, Gemini. Maybe it's time to just take a step back from the outside world and go within and deal with your emotions, okay? That's what it looks like to me because I feel like you're going to be, you know, dealing with some, some feelings this week, and you may need to be alone to do so, okay? Um, maybe you need to go through a period of healing, uh, maybe you need to bring closure. Nines are closure. Maybe you need to bring closure to this situation, whatever it is. This is closure as well. So you may need to just take a step back from the outside world to go through a period of reflection and introspection and heal from whatever the feelings are going on within you because of somebody walking away. Whether it's you or somebody else, somebody is walking away. Seven of Swords, this is um, your hopes and fears. I think that, you know, this is deception. This is betrayal. So you may be fearing that, you know, you've been deceived. You may be, maybe, you, maybe you have been deceived. Maybe you've been lied to. And maybe that's why you're so emotional. You know, there's been some sneaky, shady behavior. And probably the truth, it looks like to me, the truth has been revealed. Somebody has gotten caught. We're gonna get we're gonna get clarifiers on all these. The overall outcome is release. It is balance. It's coming. The worst is over. This is dropping it, letting it go. Not gonna hold on to it. Making that conscious change to just. I'm not doing this. I'm not carrying this with me. I'm dropping it. So you're gonna feel relief. At the end of all this, you will feel relief, Gemini. So whatever it is. We're going to get some clarifiers now. We're going to go around again. We're not going to clarify the challenge because we know the challenge is uh, lies being exposed. That is exactly what the challenge is. Some lies are going to be exposed. And it's going to probably leave you in your feelings. So what else do we got? Somebody is walking away. Mm. Ooh, yes. It's going to happen. It's going to be, you know, it's going to happen probably very quickly. Ooh. <clears throat> yeah, I think that we we have somebody here that has been untrustworthy. I think in the past you were dealing with an untrustworthy individual and they really hurt you and they didn't care if they hurt you. And, and now you're seeing the truth or you somebody's told you the truth. I mean, some sort of revelation epiphany has come in that you were dealing with somebody who doesn't have a big heart they don't care if they hurt you and you know this is an energy thief somebody who 
you know, is kind of ruthless, doesn't care who they hurt. And I think that, you know, this is karma. This is a card of karma. So perhaps, you know, <laughs> this person's going to get some sort of a wake-up call because you're going to see the truth. Something's going to happen. The truth is going to be revealed. And whoever this person was that hurt you is going to get their karma. <laughs> Imagine that. Um... You're going to find stability out of this. You are. You are. And you are going to receive a better opportunity, which is, is very clear. I feel as though um, you're probably going to realize your worth. I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, she, real, she knows her worth. She knows her value. So I feel like you, whatever happens is going to... You know, or whatever has happened has made you realize what you are worth. And this is reality. I mean, the, these are real. So I feel as though you are going to see your worth and you're probably going to end up walking away or some if something like that. Somebody is walking away from a really bad situation right here. Anyway, there's been some deception. There's been some lies. So I feel like, you know, facing your fears and you know, accepting reality and finding the discipline and the devo devotion to know your value is a big deal here. So, you know, I feel as though, oh, yeah, you're looking for wish fulfillment. You're looking for abundance. And I think that where you've been, you know, there, you, you, you know there isn't anything left. There's not another thing that you can do. No matter what you do, you can't win. And then you notice this is she's going by her. She's on her own. She realizes that she has an opportunity for wish fulfillment. So I feel as by giving up on this lie, okay? So I feel like you, somebody has got some sort of revelation or they've received some sort of message or something has happened that is causing them to walk away from somebody that it's like finally give up. I'm finally going to give up on this because I'm worth more than that. Um... Presently, this is starting over. It's like it's. I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to protect myself, and I'm coming out of this period of stagnation. I'm coming out of this period of rest and rejuvenation. I'm 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 done waiting, and it's time to live again. So I feel like you're at a point where you're going to make a, a call. It's time to live again. It's like starting a new life here, and I feel as though you know there's definitely going to be. You're probably going to. This is like starting with a clean slate, both of them. It is. You are going to be starting with a completely clean slate. Something's going to, it's like, this is just like going to be like a huge bomb going off almost. You know, it's just like a complete restructure of who you once were. It's like starting completely from the ground up. You're going to be rebuilding your future, your stability, your life. It's like a whole brand new start. You are about to start over, and that's no joke. What you once knew is about to be washed away. So that you can rebuild a more stable, solid foundation. You may get... I mean, this you may even get some help. You may get some money out of this with these money. I mean, I'm not sure what this is, but you may get some sort of money out of this. Yeah, it's like you're giving up emotionally. On It's like you're no longer going to um, be emotionally connected to this false contract, this false connection, this false structure. I think that you are going to be rebuilding because you're no longer going to invest your heart in a false foundation. And you're changing. You're going. You you are heading towards a better place. This is, this is destiny. This is fate. This is because you take the you take the step. Death. This is a card of free will and destiny. Because you make that decision to whatever it, is. it looks like you are going to make a decision or something or somebody else is. A decision is being made. Put it that way to walk away. Whether you're walking away or somebody else is. Somebody is giving up emotionally. It's like this. It's like they are no longer. It's like. This is emotional shutdown. It's over. It's over. It's over. And this is leading you to, you know, your destiny. It's better things. Good luck. This is a card of good luck. This is a lucky break, believe it or not. It is. 
It's going to bring you good fortune. This is the wheel of fortune. So this crash, this break, this fated event, this is absolutely a fated event. Whatever, 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 whatever the universe is doing to uh, bring you this golden opportunity, it is meant to be because it is going to bring you something, you know, really, 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 really good. It's changing your direction no matter what in a positive direction. So you're about to change your direction. Don't you don't need to hurry. Take all the time you need. Take all the time to need you need to uh, master your emotions. Take all the time you need to deal with the pain or to deal with the hurt or to deal with the tears or the emotions that you are feeling. There is no hurry. The best things come in time. Okay? You may be receiving supporting messages from somebody. You may, you know, there may be somebody from afar that, you know, is trying to support you or trying to give you, maybe, you know, maybe they're going to give you something financially even. You know, they're trying to help you. So just, you know, take all the time you need to get prepared for your new life. Okay? There's no hurry. There is no hurry. Um, you may feel like you're never going to get anything out of this. You may feel like, how in the hell is this going to lead to stability? How is this going to lead to uh, relief? Well, I'm here to tell you that it's going to. It is. It is. Don't 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 let yourself get down in the dumps too much. I mean, I can see that you're going to, that you think that, you know, this isn't going to lead anywhere. It is. It is. This is a test. This is, this is a test. It's a test of your... ability to heal. It's a test of your ability to persevere. It's a test of your strength. It's a test of your patience. I know. I know it is. Um, it's a test of your courage. It's a test of your self-confidence. You know, th these are major life lessons we have to learn. We have to learn to persevere through struggle. You know, we have to learn to be the boss of our own lives. We need to learn to, you know, deal with upsets. Anyway, Let's get back to, to give you. the approach is to give yourself time. Allow yourself to feel what you're feeling. You don't need to rush it. You don't need to hurry. You don't have to deny it. You know, take this time to just focus on yourself. Okay? You. I think that you, you're going to feel wounded. Okay? You may feel wounded. But in the end, you're going to be the victor. Give yourself all the time you need to deal with the emotions that are, you're feeling from whoever it is that's walking away. That whether it's you or them or whatever. External. Oh, we have a Virgo and a Capricorn. What's on the outside? <coughs> Fear. Um, ego. <clears throat> take all the time that you need. Seriously, again, take all the time. This is, this is your environment, okay? Don't let yourself, you know, you can't escape the healing process. This is wanting to escape. You may feel like, you know, you want to get drunk or you want to do some drugs or, you know, I'm just telling you what this card means. You know, you may want to bury your feelings, you know, because of the emotions. I can see that there's going to be emotions here, but I'm just saying, be careful. Be careful because that's, you know, you can't escape it. The best thing to do is take time to heal. You know, go within, call on your higher power. Don't let your pride or your ego or your fears um, hinder your progress, okay? Um, I feel as though you may be tempted to overindulge when you really need time to heal. So just, I'm here to tell you that you, this may be a person that wants to help you heal. So this could be a person, this could be a Capricorn or a Virgo that is coming in that is gonna that wants to help you. You know, they want to help you heal. So this could be some, this is it in, in, in your environment. So... No, no, devil's not always bad. It's not. It's not. Well, if you, I mean, in some ways it is, but not, not always. This could be a person. This could be a, like, this could be a Capricorn. This could be somebody that's coming in to help you. They're coming in to help you heal. They're supporting you. So it could mean so many things. Here we have... Your hopes and fears, you're not good enough, your fear of being cheated, your fear of being deceived. Maybe you feel like you're not attractive enough. You feel, maybe you feel, maybe your self-confidence, your self-worth, your self-esteem is going down because somebody cheated on you in the past. You know, I feel as though we have somebody that, that 
may want to help you they want they may want they may be coming into your life and you may feel like you know you don't trust them maybe you feel like you're not good enough maybe you're deceiving yourself gemini i don't know maybe you just think you know i'm not good enough i'm not good enough but you're tempted by this person that wants to console you you know so i feel like you do have somebody here that you know, is going to want to help you to heal from whatever this is that you're going to experience. And you may feel like Debbie Downer. You may feel like you're down in the dumps that you can't, you know, you may feel like you're an emotional wreck and, you know, that you just, <laughs> they have some tricks up their sleeve or whatever. You may feel like, maybe, maybe you feel like they're just looking for sex. I don't know. I mean, maybe you feel like you just don't trust them honestly i feel like you're really fearful of being deceived again i feel like we have somebody that's gonna help you they want to help you and you're just very fearful because of this um the overall outcome is dropping a burden something is something is being dropped now this could be the person you were dealing with somebody that was very self self-centered conceited egotistical controlling and manipulative maybe that's that's the overall outcome i mean that is the overall outcome that's dropping this person it's like letting them go so the overall outcome is somebody probably leaving i mean that's what it looks like to me um could be a aries uh aries leo sagittarius a fire sign I think that we do have a partnership that is ending here. And you want to know why? Because there's something else. There's another one. When the lover's card comes up, it means that there's two choices. But somebody has been focused on a false contract, and we have another contract that is better suited for you. So that's what, exactly what this is. So I feel like you have a better suitor right around the corner, but you have to complete this cycle first. And they're going to bring you. They are going to bring you something better, but... I feel like this is a week of releasing a false contract with somebody that was self-centered, conceited, egotistical, and controlling. And I feel like you are going to have somebody <clears throat> that wants to console you and hold your hand and the whole nine yards. And should you let them? I mean, should you let them? Should you let this person help you? I mean, let's find out about that. Should you let this person help you? You know... You might want to give it a whirl. I mean, they, they seem like they're genuine. They want, to, they want to put in effort. I think this person wants to help you. You know, they want to help you. They do. They want to help. They want to help you to heal. This person is uh, wanting to work with you. They're wanting to do whatever they can to support you. Um, this is a blessing. So if somebody comes in to help you, I would suggest, my suggestion to you is to let them. Let them. Um, this, this could absolutely be a blessing. All right. This is an opportunity for you to transition from sadness to happiness, or seriously. So, you know, this person can help you to balance out your feelings. Maybe you and this person have a couple drinks together and you lighten up. Just be careful. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Um, anyway, I feel as though there's an opportunity to come together with somebody who wants to help you through a difficult situation. And you may fear that, you know, maybe you think you're cheating on this other person, but no, you know what I mean? Who knows? Anyway, I feel as though we have a revelation. We have a truth that is being revealed. I think that somebody is going to receive a call or a message that somebody is left or they're leaving or they, they're, they're making the choice to leave. Some sort of lie or some sort of deception is coming to an end and, you know, it's leading you to a better place. You're going to be starting with a clean slate here very, 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 very soon, maybe this week. It's like all of a sudden the universe, fate has stepped in. And they're going to bring you something better, much, much, much better. But it's going to be emotional. It is going to be emotional. Um, <clears throat> sorry to give you that kind of message, Gemini, but it's going to lead you. I mean, this could even, I mean, you could even get a payout out of this with the, with the uh, Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. I mean, you could get a payout out of this, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, this does have to do with a relationship. There is no doubt. Relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. 
So we do have one relationship that is ending. That's the truth. And a new one is beginning. And I think it's, you know, it's emotional. It's emotional to start this new contract. We have one contract that is ending. A partnership that is ending. It's a false contract. It is. And we have a new one that is beginning. And it's destiny. It's destiny. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You could be... We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Capri we have ta Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo all over in this reading. And we have Capricorn over here. We have Sagittarius. We have Virgo again. Um, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius quite a bit as well. Somebody in another Gemini, we got, somebody got focused on a false contract. Seriously, a false soulmate connection. It wasn't, it wasn't, no. But they have, they have a, another connection that is meant to be, that is about to come into fruition. And that's what I got, Gemini. Good luck.